Hello everyone, welcome to the Dick Side. My name is Fossils and Things, and today we're going to be playing uh, a Portal 2 mod called Portal Stories Mel. Now, I have not done any research on this game. It was released um, a day or two ago from when I'm playing it right now, which is the 28th, which is crazy because we're at the end of June. Just, just crazy to me. June's gone past so fast, and I have been on a, a, a month-long hiatus. I've had a lot of things to kind of deal with, sort out, uh, but video should be coming back very, very soon. Um, and hopefully you guys should be expecting more content from myself, so I am truly sorry, but life is a is an incredible thing sometimes, and it does get in the way. But I'm back, and we're going to do more mods, and we're going to do more gameplays. Uh, I am actually thinking of doing some Rust very very soon so you might see some rust gameplay whenever I get around to playing that because I have been playing that quite a lot recently but here we are portal stories Mel who's Mel <laughs> and like I said I have no idea what is actually going to be happening in this game and hmm well this is very reminiscent of a certain half-life scene if anyone's ever played half-life one now this is a community Oh, Cave, Cave Johnson. <coughs> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. Uh, My name's Cave Johnson. And boy, do I have something to show you. I, I'm sure you do. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't... Let me just quickly, uh... The max sensitive area is... It's so low. So there, we you. there we are. There we are. It's nice and fast. The biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life. Ooh. Even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning... I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. Hmm. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh... Wait, wait. Where are we again? That's a very good point. Where are we? Uh, okay, so... This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. Point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. So I'm guessing we're some kind of test subject for their new uh, activities they want to do here. Temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Hmm. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, Why, thank you. ready to do some science. For now, though, we're going to put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Well, Cave Johnson, you're a true gentleman for putting on that music here. I like the little adverts up here. Hmm. Aperture Leisure. Aperture Science Innovators. So, you can see a lot of the stuff that Cave Johnson's made. And it's very Fallout reminiscent. Um... Speaking of Fallout, actually, I'll tell you guys a bit later on in the video. But yes, uh, Portal Stories Mel is a community mod. Um, well, here's some fire. All right. You're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. Yeah. So yeah, it's a community mod made by the community, obviously. Uh, and you can tell that Cave Johnson's voice is a bit different, if you're wondering. Because, obviously, the community made this. And it, so far, it's looking amazing. <laughs> well, see, now we get the, uh, the the other side of Cave Johnson. I guess we've been recruited also going dark. Okay, so Aperture Sites Innovators. So it looks like, if you remember Portal 2 itself, um, that they did have a lot of test subjects beforehand, doing the activities, working with the new gels that they were obviously making, and um, obviously maybe this is a, a, a prelude to that. It's kind of seeing, seeming that it is because we're in the age where people are still here at the Aperture Science Labs. And not everyone's been killed by the robots or anything yet, which is, you know, it's always a good thing. Um, so yeah, let's start off. Let's go these steps. Before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out. And as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. Up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. 
Hmm. Don't worry, don't. We haven't had an Ooh. accident like that in three days. Wow. Uh, cars! Oh my god, cars! Make that three minutes. The Sleep Easy here Motel. Is there hookers here? The community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete. Wow. On top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> that's thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. That's very true. That's very true. Took a little picture there. It seems pretty nice. A little reminiscent. Okay, so you can see that this is a, an amazing, um, obviously mod. I, I don't know how long they've been working on this, but damn, is the environment amazing. It's all made of, obviously, if the Portal 2 assets, um, but a lot of things are custom, I imagine. Especially uh, the vehicles. You don't really see too many moving vehicles in Half-Life games, but here we are. Um, I guess let's go through here. Welcome test subjects. Please sign in with the receptionist before proceeding to the lounge. Okay. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. It you is. found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. Caroline. Mm -hmm. That's his wife, by the way. The you all know where to go. Okay. Elevator. Uh, I don't see an elevator, really, but let's see if it's through this door. Well, it's a nice old car. Nice little garage going on here. Um, is there anything I can use? I don't think so. Now, I did actually see the trailer for this game. Uh, like I said, it's been out for a couple of days, so a few things have already been spoiled for me anyway. Uh, when I was looking at videos online, but I know there's a different there there is a portal gun But it seems a bit different at least the texture for it now. Does it do different things? I don't know. We'll discover that together We'll hold hands when we're walking through the aperture science labs um, Well like these people here. I, th I thought for a second that guy didn't have a left arm. You can see the little gray part there I thought he was somehow handicapped and I thought Ah. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously, though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. <laughs> okay, Gabe. We can do that. We can do that. So, looks like we're going down into the, uh, the test labs. Um, I would have liked to kind of done some more exploring of that little community kind of residential area. That seemed pretty interesting. That seemed like the social hub of this game. Um, but that's not important. Let's, let's progress through the story. And uh, the good thing is it doesn't have an incredibly long loading times as many Half-Life 2 games have. Okay. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine and all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. Ah, Jeff you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? More Jeff I came Club. up with this. Now there is five chapters, so even though this is kind of part of the mini mod series, um, this might go on for a while. <laughs> wow. Wow, oh my god. Impressive! Nine shafts, ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mesa. Black Mesa. Kiss my anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things, but they went their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills. I make the decisions around here. And I hire and fire as I please. Yeah, we've seen that. Now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. Hmm. This is seeming more like Fallout. The kind of music, that obviously the age we're... I'm guessing we are in like the 1950s, 1960s. 
the design of everything, the old looking cars. This is definitely Cave Johnson's era when he was still alive, so these aren't pre-recorded. Um, they are recorded, it seems, but maybe... Oh, yeah, yeah, he's saying about this, this recording. So these recordings were to be left for other people. So, like, in Portal 2, when we discover them, it's been, like, 60 years or so. Is that the right amount of time? I don't know. I'm not counting. Ah, Cave Johnson, you're too kind. You're too kind to me. I don't know how I would repay you. It's like I'm some kind of test subject, and I'm not being paid for this. Or maybe I am. Maybe they have some like really weird advert in the newspaper, just asking for for volunteer, no previous experience. Ooh, safe door. Ooh, big massive vault door. Wow. Is this? Nah. For some other reason, when I saw the screen, I thought we teleport all the way back to the, uh, to the main reception area, which would have been kind of stupid and would have been no reason for that. See, like, you can see the pictures. I really wish we had a look through here a bit more, but I imagine you can actually access anything inside of these, of that community area. So, Hopefully we do. So what danger of drowning, obviously. Oh, so they've made a whole community within well, deep, deep underground when they got all vegetation and a little simulation of that. Is that Cave Johnson? Is that you when you were younger? Oh, you handsome man, you. You handsome man. <sighs> I don't know why I said that. Um, okay. Alright, test subject waiting area. See, there's them. Is that... The U.S. Department of Defense, Contractor of the Year, runner-up, 1952. Okay, so we're in the 50s, definitely. Good. Huh. That's pretty cool. Is this the... Okay. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. Brilliant. Okay, so we can sleep. Um, <laughs> there we are. Oh, nice little, um, not in-game cutscene, but just a cutscene in general. You don't really see that in mods. And it looks really well put together. I mean, I haven't seen anything. I've, I've never played a Portal 1 or 2 mod. If you guys have anything, by the way, we're playing as a girl, if you've seen um, by the nail polish. Well, may, you know, guys can wear nail polish, but this is called Portal Stories Mel. Um, yeah, I haven't actually played any Portal uh, 1 or 2 mods. And if you've got any to suggest that I can record, put them in the uh, comment section below. But I am really interested to find out. Um, but I played other mods in Half-Life 2. I will put those in an annotation at the end of the video. Um, but none of them are, none of them compare to this. To this caliber, at least. That looked pretty gloomy. Here we are. Here's definitely the old style. The original Aperture logo. Before it was in the uh, lovely circle that you can see in the top right of the screen there. Yeah, like I said, it's a good thing that... It hasn't got crazy Half-Life uh, loading screens, which obviously speed up a lot these days. Is anyway, is is this thing on? Hello, hello. Has his voice changed? Oh, right. You can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or 
war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry though, we got shot okay. Nothing's different, nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber, I'll tell you a bit more out there. Right, okay, so it looks like our room's been destroyed and we've been, I don't know, maybe we've been in cryogenics for a while. Uh, and we've been asleep for, I don't know how long. But for some reason, Cave Johnson's voice is different. But we'll investigate that in the next episode, guys. So if you've liked this episode, give it a like. And if you want to watch more of my content, make sure you subscribe to Fossils and Things just below. Um, make sure you have a good day, guys, and I'll see you back here at the dig site for the next episode of Portal Stories Mel. See you later, guys. Yeah.